everybody. Uh, today I would like to talk about good old manners. Um, it's really hard to underestimate the importance of those uh, good old style, you know, things that uh, I know were mo more uh, popular in the United States, you know, back in time, I think maybe like 50s or 60s era that I like so much. <laughs> Uh, I think um, men were in that mode too, but in our culture, in Russian and Ukrainian culture, we still have all these good old manners, they are still there, you know, women won't get offended if you open the door in front of them, or, um, you know, if you let them sit, if you are somewhere in the subway, something like that. I would say more that women are expecting for men to be um, a gentleman all the time. And what it means, um, I mean, it may <laughs> mean a lot of things, but uh, let's just talk about manners today. So, for example, you know, if you go out uh, with your special lady, and um, no matter whether this is a first date or a little bit further along the line, um, you not only you supposed to pay for all sorts of treats, <laughs> I mean if you go to the movies, if you go to the dinner, like I said, um, you're supposed to do it very elegantly. I know it, it might sound strange, but uh, you know, some men, um, <laughs> Some men, when, for example, you, you know, you have this lovely evening at the restaurant and you're having a great time talking, and then um, when it's it's the time to to pay the bill, uh, they you know they kind of taking their time and they're like looking at the paper and you know making like this uh, mysterious uh, face and trying to check out you know if the bill was right. You know, all this sort of thing. And, you know, there are a few things that are uh, more um, unattractive than this one, especially for our mentality. I, I can't explain you, but in our mentality, you know, generosity is a very attractive thing. And I've been here in the U.S. for seven years, so I know it's <laughs> very different here. But, you uh, Coming back to the you know restaurant situation, you have to uh, do it very elegant. You know you can uh, you know just so it's smooth. It doesn't take any attention. So she you know she doesn't feel guilty. You know that you know now you have to take a loan to pay for the dinner. I mean you can understand that if you think about it, you can understand it because you are the one that invited her. So. Um, you might as well make it a great experience rather than worrying about overpaying uh, something. If you have a problem, you can excuse yourself and figure it out, but <laughs> she doesn't have to see it. So, and another big uh, thing that, uh, you know, I would like to point, you know, except just like, you know, opening the door before your lady and helping her uh, with the coat. Um, Another big thing in our culture is flowers. It's something that I think uh, many American men would kind of struggle with because generally, for what I know, in US men bring flowers uh, only on special occasions. Not all the men, but uh, the majority. So in our culture, you know, Fresh, beautiful flowers are expected. And it's not as, you know, the woman, um, like, demanding that kind of attention. It's just expected because it's a part of a culture. This is your um, expression of your feelings, of your excitement. Uh, this is your expression of um, your preparation, you know, you, you thought of her before, you know, you want to make her smile, you want to make her feel special. And uh, another thing for me is that uh, flowers are very easy to accept, you know, it's not really a materialistic gift or gift where you feel that, oh, you know, now I, I feel, you know, I don't know if I can accept this gift. 
um, you know, because some gifts you you uh, would wait some time to accept some special gifts, I would say. So yes, uh, it's something to think about and you know think it over. Um, and uh, I would just say, um, you know, uh, if you're not a gentleman, it's not even worth trying. <laughs>